Hello and welcome to the first Blender Basics episode. In this series I am planning on demonstrating the very basics of Blender. Uh, this series is for the absolute beginner. Um, I don't expect my normal audience to be watching this. Um, in this episode we are going to be covering motion uh, as well as moving objects, rotating, and scaling objects. So to look around in the viewport, we have the default cube, this lamp, and uh, the camera. This is Blender 2.63 by the way. Um, most things are standard. I think the only things different here are the colors, and I have turned on uh, screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. So we are greeted by the default view here. To move you can hold down the middle mouse button and just drag that around and you can see that if you drag it horizontally we rotate. If you drag it vertically it rotates vertically. So, pretty simple. Uh, try playing around with that a little bit. And then, if you do get lost, so, like you're w upside down and not sure how to get back, you can hit 1, and that will take you to front perspective mode. So, here's kind of the default. You can also, if you want to move incrementally, you can hit the 4 on the numpad and it will rotate in the uh, left direction. If you hit 6, it will go the other direction, 2 will rotate down, and 8 will rotate up. So, fairly intuitive. And then if you get way off in the middle of nowhere and are completely lost, you can hit the period key and it will zoom back in on the object you have selected, in this case the cube. If we want to look at the lamp, we right click on the lamp and hit period and we can look at the lamp. Uh, to zoom in and out, you can just spin up or down on the, on the mouse and, or on the middle mouse key, or not key, mouse scroll wheel, or you can hit the plus on the numpad or the minus on the numpad. This is also fairly intuitive. So that covers basic motion through the 3D viewport. Now let's get to moving. So, also if you hit 7, um, 1, 3, control 1, to see back, control 7 to see the bottom, and control 3 to see the left, it will take you to predefined positions. That can be very helpful. So to move an object, you can use these widgets here. However, that is not very uh, fast. So instead, you can actually hit G to just grab the object and then you can select a, uh, an axis. So if we want to move along the y-axis, the green axis, you just hit Y. Hit escape if you don't want it to move. So G and then X, and we can move the cube on the x-axis. And finally, we can hit G and then Z to move along the z-axis. If you want it to go back to the original position, you can hit Alt and then G and it will jump back. So Alt G and the cube will go back to its to the origin or to wherever it, it ori originate, originated. So that's fairly simple. Now we can get into rotation. There are widgets for that down here. So just click that, and you can rotate it along the Y, along the X, 
or along the z. To, uh, if you don't like the rotation, you can hit Alt and then R, and it will clear the rotation and set it back to default. That too has a key that you can press. It hit R, and then the axes you want to turn around. So I hit Y, so I'm rotating around the Y axis. If I want to rotate along the Z, we can hit R and then Z. And now we can rotate the Z. Fairly simple. And finally, we have the scaling widget. So scaling along the X, scaling along the Y, and scaling along the Z. So we can make this any size we want. This also has a keyboard command. So if we want to scale along the Y to make this back to close to being a cube, we can hit S, Y, and then just go drag your mouse in toward the origin and it will scale in along the Y. If you want to scale along the X, depending on which direction you want to go, either pull away from the origin or the center of this object, or push in to make it smaller. And then you can also scale along the Z. If you don't like the uh, scaling, just hit Alt S and it will go back to the or, or to the original defaults. Now, if you want to uh, scale along two axes at the same time, but not the third, you can hit S and then shift, press holding shift, press the axes you don't want it to scale along. So, if I just want, if I just want it to move scale along the X and the Y. I hit S, Shift, and then Z. And now it will stay the same height, but it will change its width and length. So, there you have it. And if you just want it to scale along all three, just hit S. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, come back next time, I guess.